regarding just the problem and the tool. And if they're called the standard value, it's basically the main objective of the software. The nature of the tool here, the nature of the lines, we have introduction. Why we are concerned about the test. And relevant and accessibility, which help us in applying the, uh, the examination. And some kinds of facts from Jordan. And we will know how to take a focus list within the test examination and test imaging regarding the use of ultrasound, mammogram, and other imaging modalities. And an idea about the histological and psychological. Sometimes you find more than one paper at the, at the locate at each cephalid or corpus to the uh, pectoral breast. And uh, sometimes we find aerial nipple complex. In rare situation, we may find a full breast containing breast tissue, aerial nipple complex, and at the time of menstruation, the changes occurring in the breast will occur in this accessory tissue. And at the time of lactation, probably this part will start bringing in. Uh, the breast, as in the is slitty gland. It is originally so that it is an ectodermal in origin. It is of cutaneous origin. Uh, the breast has boundaries, okay? There are anatomical boundaries for the breast, which extend from the uh, second rib to the sixth rib, and extending from the edge of the sternum to the mid-axillary line. This area we call it the breast area, and the protruded part in the breast area called breast mount. And there is a difference between the breast area and the breast mount. What we need to examine is to examine the breast area containing the breast mound, rather than examination of the breast mound itself. Sometimes, due to the changes of the pregnancy, due to changes in the lactation, due to obesity, enlargement of the breast, and the effect of the gravity, the breast will toss. So that the primary base for the breast, from the second to the sixth rib, will be narrowed, so that it would have a narrow base. And during examination, we have to take care of this in order to put the patient in a way to bring back the toast or migrating the breast from the area back to the, that area. So that this is very important concept. Um, the breast, some people think that the breast is soft, smooth in consistency, but actually it is not. The breast composed of glandular structure, and those are glandular structures. Those glandular structures, the basic units of the glandular structure are the SNI, which are composed of single layer of cells, cuboidal cells, and microbial cells, and this is where the, secret, uh, the milk is produced, and it is uh, pumped through the ducts. Collectively, multiple SNI causing lobules, or forming a lobule of the breast, and multiple lobules forming lobe of the breast. And this lobe of the breast usually having a major duct, which opens at the summit of the nipple. And we have 15 to 20 ducts usually coming from the, the breast to the nipple. And we have dilatation here, which is the milk science. At this time, at the time of lactation, there is a ready produced milk, so that the kid will not wait for a longer time for the milk to be produced, so that it's not sort of preserved. And this is glandular structure, is surrounded by fatty tissue, okay? And it is divided into compartments by a fibrous tissue. Now, if you feel superficially, light feeling to the breast, you will find the subcutaneous fat. <coughs> and usually this is lobular, it is not smooth. And if the patient is thin or skinny, probably what you will feel, you will feel the glandular structure, which is again firmer than the fast, overlying fast, and it is usually uh, lobular or granular in consistency. Okay. So that it is not a smooth, homogeneous uh, structure. As you see, this is the fibrous tissue, which divides the breast into compartments. Okay? And this fibrous tissue, extending strands of fibrous tissue to the pectoral fascia here, okay, and extend some uh, fibrous tissue. <coughs> this fibrous tissue 
collectively called Cooper's Regime. Okay. And it works as internal bra for the lady to support the breast. So that with time, this is we get that and the breast will close down. Okay? So that this is an Cooper's Regime is important because sometimes it gives indirect signs of malignancy. When there is a tumor in this area, it will build fall in the light, lead to retraction of the nipple. It will fall on this strand, if there is a tumor here, and this fall down, it will cause uh, what's called tethering or tuckering of the skin, or dimpling <coughs> of the skin, or in the past, I will be at the skin. Uh, those are the important things about the uh, anatomy of the breast required for the examination. As you know that the breast having a lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system composed of lymphatic vessels and those collectively uh, uh, drain them to the regional lymphatics, mainly to the axilla and in rare occasions to the uh, internal memory lymphatics. And we have the lymphatic effects of even tumors or masses in this area, in 80% of the cases they drain to the axilla. Uh, as you see, that the axilla is terminal in shape. It has an anterior form, it has a posterior form, it has a lateral form, and it has a base here, and this is an apex. And those are the areas where we go when we examine the axilla in order to detect the presence of axillary lymph nodes. Of course, you mean, you see that the connection between the lymph nodes here and the intraclavicular lymph nodes. So, <coughs> and uh, they are part of regional examination of the breast. This, so that in each breast examination, this area should be checked for the presence of the lymph nodes. Now we have some cancer facts. Yeah. According to the um, uh, Georgia Cancer Registry, which started in 1996, before that we have uh, inaccurate uh, data from hospitals, but when we have the cancer registry, usually in 1996, so the total number of cancers in Jordan were 3,300. And this increased with time, and now it is 4,300 deaths. So that there is a general pattern of increase uh, in the, of the, that day, of the all types of cancer in the region of as you see, Jordan, this is the uh, age standardized incidence uh, population for many and many cancers in all sides. As you see, in Jordan, we have a male in, in, uh, in 124 cases, per 100,000 of population. The male is slightly higher, 135 uh, per 100,000 uh, of population. But if you compare, if you compare this to the UK, it is almost in the UK triple of two and a half more than Jordan. So that Jordan, regarding the uh, incidence of cancer in collectively male and female, more or less in the middle. It is not very high, but it is not very low. Breast uh, cancer hitting the risk among all types of cancer affecting females. And according to the 2007 statistics, it constitutes about 36% of all cancers affecting females. It means that we have absolutely 817 cases in statistics 2007. If we look, we start in 1996 by 400 cases. And now we end by 800 cases. So that there is a real fact, there is an increase. So that how we can explain this increase this is a matter of lecture, but we are trying to anticipate the presence of a problem. For this reason, we are trying to say that this is a problem and needs concern from different stakeholders in the country. This is our case is double, and it is expected in 2020 to be 1,600 cases. Okay? Uh, probably more. If we relate to the more accurate diagnosis, if we relate to the age population, uh, more environmental problems, and we have environmental problems, but this is a political issue. Okay, so that probably we are trying to find a 
a problem which is now expanding, so that this needs a solution from the medical profession. As you see also, the large number of patients they present with advanced stage of the disease, so that they have the disease and they move away from seeking medical advice. And this is for many reasons, we will not go through all of this. But almost 50% of the cases, they are advised. And even the people talking about stage 2 as an early, it is really not early. We don't know what is early cancer. If you know that the cancer starts is from one malignant cell, and it needs almost five to 10 years to be one centimeter. And then one centimeter or one gram of of tumor tissue contain one billion cells. So that this number of cells, probably some of them, they will migrate even when the tumor is one centimeter in the end. So that the people, they are quite happy to diagnose cancer at the level of one centimeter. But actually this is not very early in the sense of early treatment and having a good prognosis. But uh, clinically, we say that any patient having uh, T2N0 or T2N1, it is considered to be an early cancer. Beyond this, it is an advanced cancer. This is arbitrary uh, classification. But we cannot say that uh, stage 2 is an early cancer, stage 1 is an early cancer. This depends actually on the biology of the Now we will go to the, the practical part. <coughs> How we can evaluate breast cancer? Our first masses or first problem. As we said, that is what is called triple assessment. The triple assessment is composed of three arms. The first arm is the clinical evaluation, namely taking the history <coughs> and physical examination, the proper name, okay, and instance of dying weight. The second one is the doing some imaging in order to know the nature or the presence of this mass. And we have to have what is called cytology or histology for the, the tumor. So that by applying all of these, probably most of the uh, masses in the, in the breast will be diagnosed effectively. Okay? What we are concerned is not to know exactly what is the pathology, but it is very important for us to know whether that the mass or the problem in the breast is it a malignant process or is it a benign process? Because there is a totally different uh, prognostic uh, uh, criteria and totally different line of management. Now we will start by each of them. You know that uh, the complaint regarding the breast problem, like any organ, usually any organ problem, Either there is a pain, there is a mass, or there is a discharge, okay? And usually this is the main presentation of breast problems. But mainly, usually, uh, the patients having breast masses, okay? The breast mass, it is not necessarily to be very obvious. Sometimes the people say that it is uh, thickened in durated area. I'm not happy about this. Area. It is different from other types of area. So that you can, it is not necessary to find a real mass in front of your eyes. Uh, pain is not a main manifestation of uh, cancer. breast cancer. But presence of pain will not guarantee that this mass is not malignant. 15 to 20 percent of the cases could be present with pain. So the pain may be related to the tumor or related to the usual pain that the lady have during the menstrual changes or during pregnancy. In general, the breast is painful organ, so that the presence, it is not necessary, the presence of pain is not necessarily related to the cancer or induced by cancer. 